Do you want to extend your growing season without buying an expensive greenhouse? Our friend Beth has a solution. Hi, I'm Jonathan, the Provident Prepper. Many of us have gotten more serious about growing our own food based on possible shortages and increased costs at the store. Growing a garden has always been a great idea, but now it's more important than ever. In our area, we have a fairly short growing season, and so we have always been looking for ways that we can extend that out a bit. In this video, we will talk about a simple A-frame greenhouse that you can build for very little money and use almost anywhere to increase your family's food security. Stay tuned. We get a lot of comments from people saying they just don't have any place that they can grow any food. Well, our friend Beth Lastico has come up with a design that you may be interested in. This A-frame greenhouse or a patio greenhouse can be used by almost anyone. This is especially great for people who want to extend their growing season to be able to get a little more time on the front end and on the back end. The design for this project is really simple and you can usually find materials that you can repurpose and you can probably do this for almost nothing. Beth picked up this wooden crate from a local bottle company and it had had wine shipped in it. And then she took advantage of some scrap lumber that she had around. Be creative. You can buy everything new to make this or you can repurpose almost anything to make this work. It's all about the design. As you can see, this A-frame just consists of a couple of uprights with a post across the top. Beth has put this in just with some screws on the side so that if she ever wants to pull that out, it's very simple to pull a couple of screws and pull that whole A-frame out. The next step is to take the poly sheeting or plastic sheeting or bisqueen or any type of a clear plastic material and cut it and lay it over the top. Here you can see she has fastened this in place with a piece of lath across the top and a few screws. That holds that plastic in place very nicely. And one of the things, if you are using something like lath, make sure that you pre-drill those holes because it will split very easily. She has also fastened this on the side using the same method. Now the ends are just a little bit different. She's taken that piece of lath and screwed it in on top of the plastic so that she can flip that plastic up like this and attach it with clothespins. That makes it really easy to open up the sides and allow the little greenhouse to ventilate. On the sides of the greenhouse, Beth just rolls up that plastic and attaches it nicely with the little clothespins so that it's out of the way. Plant selection is important because you wanna make sure that your plants aren't gonna outgrow this box before summer comes. Beth selected cherry tomatoes, peppers, and herbs for this box, which is a fantastic thing to have right outside your door. And you can use those uprights to trellis some of these plants if they need it. Beth has now planted these seedlings in this box, and it will only be a matter of a few short weeks, and she'll be able to harvest some of them and take advantage of that jump that she's gotten on the growing season to be able to create some delicious food. Beth had an existing raised bed in her yard when they purchased the house, and she decided to use this same A-frame design on it. It did require Beth to use some beefier materials than she used on the small patio greenhouse. She had to use two by four supports, and on the top support, that also needed to be a two by four because it was much longer and it's a wider design. Beth has created a fantastic way to take an existing bed and create this A-frame so that she can have a greenhouse and get a huge jump on that season. We talked about this a little bit before, but it's very important that you open the ends during the day to provide some ventilation so that you don't cook your plants. This is a great greenhouse design to protect your little seedlings and get a jump on that season. It will protect from all kinds of weather issues, such as rain and hail and snow, cold and wind, and your seedlings are just tucked nice and safely inside, getting the sun that they need to grow when it's available. And this design is very easy to open up on warm days and expose your plants to the sun. It is important when you first start doing that that you only expose them for a short period of time each day until the plants are hardened off. You truly can extend your growing season. And you may think it's too late to get going for this year, but it's actually a perfect time for you to put this in place and be able to extend your season late into the fall or perhaps even throughout the year. In addition to using the A-frame for plastic, you can also use that to support bird netting if you need protection from the birds or a shade cloth to protect your plants from that intense sun. When our spring comes, we usually have some really nice weather, but we have enough frost 
that a lot of people just don't start planting until Memorial Day. And in the fall, we have usually an early frost and then we sometimes have just beautiful weather for a month or six weeks. So if we can protect against those events, we can grow a lot more food. So let's get going on it now. This is Beth Lastico's design. She lives in zone 3A, so if anybody has some harsh challenges to overcome, it's Beth. Thank you, Beth, for sharing this with us. For a few more details on this, check out our post, Step-by-Step -step Inexpensive Patio Greenhouse or Super Simple Cold Frame. Also check out our YouTube channel. Last month we created a video called Prepper Homestead Tour and it just gives you some great ideas of things that you can do and things that we are doing this year to help increase our production. Also, Victory Garden Secrets. Some great tips to help you maximize your production. Check them out. Beth's idea for a patio greenhouse is ingenious. All you need are a few materials that you can purchase fairly inexpensively or probably even repurpose. And it can be used on a larger scale at a much lower cost than purchasing a greenhouse. And now for the question of the day. What experience do you have extending your growing season? Comment below and thanks for being part of the solution.